let's talk about color. You know what? Let's let 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 let's talk about color pop. Let's have a color pop conversation. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Thomas, wearing the same damn sweater, Halbert. Back at it again with another video. You're probably curious as to why I'm not wearing any lipstick on my lips right now, and there's a very good reason as to why, but I'll, I'll get into that in a second, in a second. Just... I do want to quickly say that I am nominated for a Shorty Award. I'm probably going to say this several times in a lot of videos up until it is no longer, you can no longer vote. I am currently up for a Shorty nomination. I am under, I'm nominated under the beauty category. You can vote for me up to three times a day. And um, it would really mean a lot to me if you'd vote for me. I'll have the link in the description box. It'll be like the first or second link in the description box. And then it'll be linked in the comment section down below. It'll be in the pinned comment down below. It'll really mean a lot to me if you'd vote for me. You can vote up to three times a day, every day. Voting ends around the end of February. So vote, vote, vote. It really means a lot to me. Thank you guys for even allowing me to be nominated. And yeah. So getting into why I have no lipstick on, ColourPop and I have teamed up to show you their new Lux lipsticks. This is the PR packaging that they came in. That is correct. Today is going to be like a swatch slash review slash first impressions of their new lipsticks. I'm super excited and I want to thank ColourPop so much for partnering up with me for this video. Just because this is like a ColourPop dedicated video, I do want to let you guys know what highlight I'm wearing. I'm wearing I'm wearing the ColourPop Flexitarian highlighter, one of my all-time favorites. And on my eyes, I'm wearing the Casting Light and ColourPop Dream Street palettes from ColourPop. Oh, and I'm wearing the ColourPop concealers on my under eye and on my face all around. If you are not already subscribed, I'd love to have you a part of this little family, this little community that I have going on here on YouTube. We're pretty chill over here and we enjoy memes. While you're down there, don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you are notified when I do post a video. I'm sure you want to be notified, at least I would want to be notified. And without further ado, let's get on with this ColourPop Luxe Lipstick Review. Alright, so this is the package that I got, and then inside the package... <laughs> inside the package, there is 20... There is 24 lovely lipsticks. They range from, like, light nudes, deep nudes, dark nudes. Then we have, like, the berry tones. Then we have, like, the red tones, the deep red tones. And then we got the crazier colors and the darker colors and the vampire colors. So there is quite the selection here in this little package here. By the way, these launch either today or tomorrow. Um, I don't know when this video is going live. They launch January 31st. So right? that's either today or that's tomorrow. Don't know when this video is going to be live, but... So just a little bit of information on these lipsticks before we get into the swatches, the first impressions. The ColourPop Luxe lipsticks, they are $7 each. That's insanely cheap. Um, Cruelty-free and vegan, of course. ColourPop always is. For the most part, is always vegan, but they're always cruelty-free. There is a creamy matte formula, and then there is 21st Shades. Already touched on that. Launches January 31st. Already touched on that. So it's filled with nourishing butters and pigments. So the claims are that they don't bleed, they're long-wearing, etc etc so that's really cool um yeah so that's all the information i have so far if there's any more information i'll leave it on the screen and so on and so forth by the way if you guys want to shop this collection um i will have the link down below for you guys and i will try to link to every lipstick down below but that might be a little bit too much for me that might be, just, <laughs> might be a little bit too much so how I'm trying to format this video, because I haven't done a video like this in, I think, forever. I'm going to talk through the first five, five shades that I try, give you my first impressions, how I feel about it, and then go throughout the rest of the video, swatching all 24, 24 shades, or the rest of the 19 shades, um, with some cool editing and music, so you guys can jam along and see all the shades against my lovely, lovely, um mayo skin oh my god this is gonna be a lot of swatching thank god this isn't liquid lipsticks otherwise my lips would, <laughs> my lips would you know what i mean my lips would just not my first impressions already on this product is the packaging is stun like gorgeous but ColourPop always kills it with pack let's talk about color you know what? let's let 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 let's talk about color pop let's have a color pop conversation the reason why i Thomas Hobart Stan ColourPop. Always been a Stan. Been a Stan since 2015. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Before they even knew who I was and before I was even on PR, I was a ColourPop Stan sister. All these other drugstore brands could never. These drugstore brands could not touch ColourPop. Could never. Oh. Oh. Oh, these girls could never do what ColourPop does. ColourPop gives you quality. 
at an affordable price, gives you packaging at an affordable price, and ColourPop gives you, they just give you diversity. They give you shade ranges. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. ColourPop bumps through with the shade ranges. Mark my words, as soon as ColourPop is sold in stores, in Sephora's and so on, these girls are going to be shook. These brands are going to be quaking. I Just mark my words. Mark my words. And here's why. Their prices are so incredibly affordable and their quality, their pigmentation, their creaminess, their eyeshadows, oh my god. The packaging is gorgeous. It's a rose gold packaging with stars on it. Such my aesthetic. Has the ColourPop logo on it and then the shade um, is at the bottom. This is the shade Boy. And then on the actual lipstick itself, you have a bunch of stars as well. Again, we'll add close-ups. So this looks like a perfect nude for me, in my opinion. Looks like a kind of like a mauve pinky, mm, a warm toned. Mm, is it pinky? Yeah, she's a little pink. She's a little pink undertone. So let's go ahead and um, see what our first thoughts are. First swipe application. That's so light. I have never. <gasps> So it definitely is really pigmented. Um, I will say it might need a cut. This shade might need a couple layers for full opacity, but it is such a, a nude that honestly, like it's very light on me. Like this is borderline concealer lips for me. Long story short, my lips are crusty as hell. Um, and typically I need... Typically, when it comes to lipsticks, you can tell that old girl has some crusty lips. Uh, but with this, it looks very hydrating. It feels very hydrating. It feels very comfortable so far. I love the shade. It's a very pretty shade. By the way, these are the best makeup removing wipes ever from MAC. It's the MAC Micellar Water Makeup Wipes. Amazing. Moving on to the next shade, we have the shade Stone Fox. And it's more of like a pinkier... A pinkier nude. This is definitely a lot more pinkier than the last one. Oh wow. This is stunning. The these apply so smooth. These apply amazing. The formula kind of reminds me of their um what are they called? Their lippy sticks. It definitely does remind me of that. I'm not saying it is that, but it definitely does remind me of that formula. The lighter ones definitely need like a couple coats to get full opacity, which to be honest is kind of normal with lighter lipstick shades. You don't really get like a full like, um, especially since this is a more hydrating formula. The next shade is Uno Mas. Now this might be more my steez. This is a more orangey, orangey undertone. This would look beautiful if you have yellow undertones or warm undertones this lipstick would look amazing on you this one's definitely a lot more pigmented than the last two. Oh, i love i love this color this one is so pretty i love i love this shade okay so the next shade is the shade appy and not happy appy a-p-p-y <laughs> now this one might be another one that's up my alley this looks like more of like a the, like i feel like if you are on a deeper complexion i actually think if you are on a deeper complexion this might be 100% perfect for you actually. This might be like a, especially with a lip liner. I already know I'm gonna like this. I'm just being honest with you. I already know I'm gonna like this. Yep, mm-hmm. Wait, do you see that? Full pigmentation. This shade, I love this shade, especially with my eye look. It's kind of giving me like a monochromatic moment. Love this shade. So far, I'm loving this formula. It feels very, 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 very comfortable on the lips. It feels like I'm not wearing anything on the lips. It's super lightweight and it's very, very hydrating. I like this a lot. It's a very nice, it's very nice. I'm... For $7, this is a very good formula. So I'm pretty sure you guys got my first impressions and how I feel so far about these lipsticks. So now I'm gonna go into full on like swatch mode. It's gonna be cute. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you guys my final review. But so far I'm loving it. I think the, the first two shades were a little bit streaky and needed a little bit more um, help getting full opacity, just like a couple more swipes. <laughs>
found these lipsticks. I think they are amazing. Honestly, there is not one thing I could find wrong with these lipsticks. My only strife with these lipsticks is that, you know, obviously some shades need a little bit uh, more building up. More of the, the lighter, nudier shades need a little bit more building up to get full opacity. But other than that, I think these are all really pigmented, really amazing, very creamy, very hydrating. I wish they were just the tiniest bit more matte, but if you just like put a little bit of powder over top of it, like translucent powder over top of it, it'll make it 100% matte. So if you guys are like, if you care about that kind of stuff, then there's that little tip for you. But other than that, I find these lipsticks to be amazing, especially for the price, $7. I think that's insane. Um, the packaging is beautiful. Everything is just really, really great. And I think these lipsticks are definitely, definitely approved by me. I give them a five-star rating. I think these are amazing. And I definitely think you guys should check them out. Again, I will have a link down below where you can buy them and where you can get them. They launch, again, January 31st, Wednesday, January 31st. Um, so... Make sure you're keeping up with ColourPop's Instagram and stuff like that just so you know when they foot, when they officially go live. And definitely like, let me know what shades you're thinking about getting or if you're, if you're even thinking about getting any of these shades. But, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I'll definitely do more dedicated reviews and maybe not just full-on first impressions videos where I'm reviewing a whole bunch of products. Just let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would love more videos like this where... We're just playing around with makeup and you're getting like first like you're, you're getting just a review and stuff like that. Just let me know. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And again, thank you ColourPop for partnering with me for this video. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.